Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know how I feel. I haven't been doing this. I haven't been shooting content in such a long time. Um, but yes, we're going to talk about that um, later on. But for now, I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, but thank you, thank you so much uh, to those who have subscribed. To those who are just watching my videos and not subscribing, guys, please, please help a girl out and just click on that subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and I would really, really appreciate it. And for those who just who subscribed and who watch my videos without liking, guys, please like my video. It really, really helps me to grow um, my channel and for this video to reach more people. All right, cool. So let's get straight into today's video. Guys, I don't know if I should say this is story time or what, but yeah, let's just say it's story time. So let me just fill you guys in on what I've been doing, what I've been up to. But yeah, life had knocked me down for the past week. For the past two weeks. Is it two weeks? Yeah, for the past week. You know, and I think right now, I think the title of this video will be being content with God's no, you know, um, sounds so cliche. They always say, no, God knows best, but when it really, really happens to you and when God says no to you, you just feel like your life is falling apart and you really, really don't know what to do, what to, where to look, who to tend to. And yeah, I'm just going to keep it real in this episode and tell you guys and try. I'll, I'll try to um, make you guys understand how this experience has made me feel. I'm going to be talking about my journey, right? Until now, from the beginning of the month until now. It has only been two weeks, but I feel like I've, I've seen it all. And... I have experienced a lot of no's from God this particular month, but right now I am in a better position to actually talk about it. And I honestly, honestly am glad that God said no about a whole lot of things, you know. So I've been looking at other opportunities in order for me to grow, you know, career wise, um, you know, in, in education wise and so forth. So I did a whole lot of research and I have been trying out a whole lot of things, right? And the first no that I got, I almost crashed. I almost died because I thought this was for me. You know, I, I felt like there's no way. I care, there's no way I'm not going to get this one. And when I actually got rejected, I felt like my whole world was falling apart. And I felt like nothing will ever work out, you know. And I couldn't believe it. And I was just like, I was asking myself a whole lot of questions to say, but why, you know. I, th I honestly thought it was going to work. And funny enough, before I got rejected for this um, opportunity that I was trying out, I actually had a conversation with God about it the previous night. And I was trying to convince God that, you know what? I think I'm ready for this. I think I'm ready for this opportunity. Just please, 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 please allow me to, to just tap into it. And God was just like, you know what? Um, we, this is not up for discussion. Um, the decision has already been made. And 
after that conversation my heart sank it literally sank because i was thinking to myself oh no like i cannot i cannot deal with um any rejection you know and i was just like you know what whatever that you want to do lord um just do it you know just do it and when i woke up in the morning um woke up did my routine and i think two hours later then i i received an email and this email was just saying good day uh, we regret to inform you i just threw my phone on my bed and i was sure i was so i was so heartbroken i don't want to lie i i saw it coming but i honestly thought maybe um god would change his mind you know when you 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 really really want something to work out and you feel like you are ready for um an opportunity you're ready for um to tap into your career and 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 to grow right and god keeps on saying mm -mm, not now girl not now baby girl and i was so crushed i was so sad i honestly didn't know what to do with myself and because I'm, I'm i'm very very close with my little sister i don't really have friends so um she's always that person that i confide in um so i just forwarded that email to her and i was just like dude i don't know how to feel i don't know if i should cry i don't know like honestly speaking guys i had mixed emotions right a part of me was really really relieved that um god said no but a bigger part of me was really disappointed and it was really sad um and i was just like sure yeah god ah when that was called like you do as you wish you know and you know that video i think i'll try and find that video that says come come and i felt like god was literally saying that to me he was literally saying that in my face and i was so sad i was really really sad but um i i after receiving that email i was just like you know what lord i'm not mad at you i am not um I'm not mad at you. I'm not angry at you. I just want to feel whatever that I feel, you know, and I would love for you to be present in my disappointment, in my sadness, sadness, in my um, frustration, in my confusion. And I, I was busy talking to God about it and he was literally saying that um you know i knew you Mohamed, before you were formed in your mother's womb and therefore all the plans that i have for you um they're not meant to harm you they're not meant to kill you they're not meant to destroy you um but they are to give you hope for the future and at first i didn't understand i was just like but i thought i was ready for this i thought you and i had a conversation about this you know and he said you might not understand it now but you will understand it later and his later honestly didn't take time because this happened like two weeks ago and two three weeks ago and his later was literally last week last week or this week somewhere there and i was just like sure yeah god knows best um he knows best he knows us very well and he knows that certain opportunities will um destroy us they will change who we are they will um cause a whole lot of havoc in our lives and i i 
two weeks ago i didn't understand it you know i i kept on speaking the word i kept on reading the word i kept on praying the word speaking the word over my life to say um you know lord you said we should ask and whatever that we ask in your name it shall be given unto us you know all these scriptures that i've been um speaking upon my life and i've been saying to god that you know what uh, you said we need to seek your kingdom first and everything else will be added unto us and i've been seeking you all this time you know and i feel like now all these additions need to be coming and god was just saying not this one not this one my daughter um i have something for you that is much more greater than you can ever think or you can ever imagine and i was just sitting there and god was literally just kind of um comforting me with his word and he was literally saying you know what the vision that i've given you it may tarry it may take time but um, it will happen at its appointed time, you know, and he kept on saying, I am never too early. I'm never too late. I am always on time. And whatever that I have promised, whatever that I have um, put in your mind, in your life, all the plans that I have for you, they will all come to pass, right? Um, you might feel like, um, the vision is taking too long, but they will all happen at the right time. You know, so yeah, that's what's been happening in my life. And I was just in a bad, bad space, a really, really bad space. Because I honestly thought that, you know what, God, we've got this. Like, like this is, is it has my name written on it. And Kanti, yo, Patumamudimu. Kashapake life barely, you know, and I even felt like, you know, I'm so hurt, I'm so disappointed, but I kept on drawing even more closer to God, and I wanted Him to, 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 to be there when I'm confused, when I'm, I'm disappointed, when I'm sad, when I didn't really understand what was going on, you know, because um, many times we just want to shut God out and we feel like, therefore, I don't even want to talk to you. But for me, it was that thing that I felt the need to even feel God closer, you know, and I wanted to let him in. Um, into what I was feeling, so it 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 was a bit tricky. But I I honestly felt really really proud of myself that you know what, um, like Job lost everything, right? He lost everything that humanly speaking, if I were to lose that or what he had lost, um. I wouldn't have been able to stick around. I wouldn't have been able to even make it out alive, right? But it just goes to show that when we are born again and when we say we are um, children of God, when we say that we are followers of Christ, whatever that we get confronted with, we need to let god into that situation we need to let god into our disappointments into our confusion into our plans you know into our sadness you know so yeah so that's what's been happening in my life i got a whole lot of dms from you guys asking why you're not um, uploading content why are you not shooting content but yeah i've just been really um in a bad space but I'm back, I'm alive, I'm happier than ever. My life is literally falling back into place and I can only be thankful to God that you know what, um, in everything that I go through, in everything that happens in my life, whether it knocks me down, whether I'm pressed side by side, um, I always come out victorious, you know, so it's, it's, it's really, um, great. It feels great to be called a child of God and every heavenly blessing 
is literally ours so yeah guys i just wanted to come on here and encourage someone that you know what your life might be you might be feeling like your life is falling apart everything that you're praying for you're literally just getting the opposite of that everything that you are hoping for you are getting the reverse of that i just wanted to come on here and say you know what whatever plan that god has for you and for your life he knew you before you were born before you were even formed in your mother's womb he had already preordained predestined everything concerning your life you know and he knows what is best for you um he knows exactly what you need you know you might feel like you need something but you find to god it's not really a need it's something that might destroy you it's something that might um make you lose yourself entirely you know and god might have given you a vision don't give up on the vision don't give up on god because the vision is taking too time um too long to actually come to pass you know but the though the vision may tarry just keep on holding on and believe that it will happen at its appointed time. God is never too late. He's never too early, but he is always on time, you know. And I mean, the plans that he has for your life, you might be feeling pain right now. You might be feeling as though you need to give up. You might be feeling as though you are good for nothing, you know. Um, your life might be going north. It might be going west. It might be going south. But you actually wish that, you know, you can, you could just be centered and you can just be, you could just be, um, leaving your dream, you know. But God just says, you know what? All this pain, all this sadness, all these disappointments that you're feeling, they are not meant to harm you. They are literally meant to prosper you and to give you a great future, you know. And I mean, if, if, if God could open the Red Sea, he didn't have to, for the Israelites, he literally didn't have to um made the water disappear so that they could walk on dry land but he parted the red sea for them to walk through for them to walk past it so it's the same thing with your life you might be confronted with a whole lot of issues with a whole lot of situations but god will make a way for you to get through the red sea whatever red whatever red sea it could be in your life it could be a divorce that you're going through it could be sickness it could be um unemployment it could be um loss of job it could be anything but he will make a way for you you know and he says he i mean he had he has promised us that when you walk through the waters he will be there when we walk through the fire he will be there you know so we just have to um speak the word of god upon our lives and speaking the word of god and believing it is totally different so we just need to trust the one who was there even before the beginning could begin so yeah guys i am really excited and i just hope that this video will give someone else hope out there don't give up on the vision don't give up on the dream don't give up on the goal just keep pushing you know um and I mean, God is, is so big on preparation, right? So all these things that are happening in our lives, everything that is happening to us, it is just a preparation phase. So that when you go out there, he knows very well that you are ready. You're ready for whatever that um, will come your way. You are ready for whatever um the devil might try to bring to you so for as long as you are prepared for war um i don't think there's anything else that can set you back yeah so, um let us be content with god's no um 
so yes guys i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video um until we meet again i've honestly honestly enjoyed talking to you guys about this you guys are like my little family you know i always love coming on here and i hope that you guys will love this content and you will like the video please don't forget to like the video guys because it really really helps the channel to reach even more people um on the youtube platform so please please just like this video uh just give it a thumbs up please comment down below um and please just subscribe to the channel please share my videos as well guys um because this message might actually help somebody else you don't know you never know so yeah guys until we meet again see you in my next video goodbye guys